What's up guys, it's Joe here for StumpBombs.com um, Today I'm going to be shortening a pipe I just got in the mail It's kind of dented up, kind of scratched up, pretty beat up uh, I'm going to bring it back to life going to make it a little bit shorter It's a common thing a lot of people do for a lot of different reasons uh, The reason I'm doing it is um, a lot of times in the past I've crashed trying to do circles and things of that nature and my pipe has caught and actually pulled off the header. So I'm going to be shortening this pipe a little bit. Um, probably going to be taking about four to six inches off of it. Um, I really don't like a, a super loud pipe. Um, personally I'd rather have a quiet bike. So here we go. Okay so there, there are no pop rivets to drill out. What there was on this particular pipe was an allen key bolt. So, after I get the Allen key bolt out, um, basically what you do is you pull on one of the ends so one of them pops off. Then you can separate the other cap. This is the metal baffle on the inside of your muffler, which the exhaust goes through and is surrounded by the packing material. That's what the inside looks like. This is all the packing material that was inside wrapped around uh, the metal baffle that I showed you. But basically once you pull all that stuff out, decide how long you want your pipe. It's got two different styles of baffling material in there. Um, and you're ready to cut your sleeve. My weapon of choice for this pipe is going to be the bandsaw. Um, it's kind of what I got. Hopefully it's going to work good. Um, one thing I did notice is the metal baffle has the little tip on it that holds the two end pieces together. So I can't just go chopping that off and try to put my muffler back together because it's there's not going to be anything to hold it together. So I'm going to have to get a little sophisticated with this one and uh, section it out of the middle the same amount that I take off of here. And then I'm going to weld it back together. So this is what I did, this is how I set it up, um, you could probably do it a few different ways, this is how we're going to do it. Alright, so the bandsaw temp, it was cutting through, it was shaking the pipe a lot, um, kind of was a big pain in the ass, so I'm going to switch it up to a different method and uh, see if we can't get this job done, there's a trial and error, so just hang on. Switching to a new weapon. The cutoff wheel, uh, big old disc on it, so hopefully we should be able to get the job done real good. So I put a piece of blue tape on there so uh, I could keep my line while I'm cutting because it's getting kind of dark outside. So you can see right here we just cut the outside of the can, shortened it up. Um, I'm now going to use this piece of extra pipe that's left over to mark the inside of the steel baffle so I know how much to cut out of that. So here's the plan for the steel inner baffle. What I did was I cut a little insert, cut a strip out of the insert so I can actually slide this into the steel baffle, slide the two pieces together, and then lay my welds around there to make my one piece whole again. So this is the inner baffle steel one, the finished product with all our tack welds around it. If you don't have a welder there's a few different ways that you could hold it together possibly with rivets maybe some other things you could get creative. Like I said this is just the way I did it because this is the method I had available to me and it seemed like the best way to me. I would recommend doing whatever you think is going to work best for your application. So basically this is what you're left with the baffling back inside, the steel pipe back inside, 
ready to put the top cap back on it, put it back together. So here's the new pipe. We got it shortened down, installed back on the bike. I'm waiting on my sub cage, which should be in the mail today. Um, and then we'll just put the muffler clamp around it and attach it back to the foot peg like it is from the factory.